good morning everyone welcome to rise and shine and it's friday it's gonna be a long weekend that means you gotta be starting to move now and try to burn the calories in advance for your long weekend so that you can ease off a little bit during the weekend relax a little okay so for today's session it's gonna be split up into three different segments the first part is gonna be our usual warm-up segment uh, with me and then the second part will be a strength segment of body weight resistance training led by Sam or more commonly known as that Uncle Sam later on he'll be coming on the screen to lead us through the second part where we want to work on strengthening building up lean muscles and toning up you want to shape up the body okay and in the last part there will be a finisher so a finisher is a, just a short uh, less than 10 minutes workout a sequence of exercises to put you through uh, more of a higher intensity uh, exercises higher intensity workout set to get your cardio part in so it has to be a balance of strength and cardio training to get a nice lean body okay so late you want to stay through the all the three segments starting with the warm-up strength and then finish off with the finisher the reason why we call it finisher you'll know it later on okay so we're gonna start off with the first part with the warm-up segment uh, before we start if it's good to have a yoga mat if you don't it's okay you can do it on the ground as well and there will be no equipment needed for my part and we'll just have a little bit of space we'll start off with our usual warm-ups both arms in opposite directions one forward and one backwards so those who have been following me on every Friday morning you should be able to do this one by now it's a bit of coordination remember so we'll start with both arms on top one forward one backwards full range of motion shoulder rotation so relax the shoulders let it go and change direction start with both arms on top again one forward one backwards coordination guys warm up your brain as well one forward one back once you get used to the movement keep going relax the arms let it go full range of motion loosen up so you want to warm up your muscles for the workout later on and relax keep your arms straight clap front clap back try to see if you can touch your hands behind you just relax the shoulder stand up tall swing around get your body warm get the blood pumping heart rate up hands in front side to side just turning the upper body side to side relax the whole body take it easy for the first part you can save your energy for later on and relax okay feet wide apart you're gonna bend your knees push your knees out with both hands lean one side of the shoulder to the middle hold it there keeping those knees out always using both hands on knees pushing it out and switch out of sight good hold it okay now you're gonna stay where you are on the lower body hands in front now without your hands on your legs hold it there still keeping your butt down for those who can go up on your toes so this is our usual warm-up set so for any of your workouts that you do on your own try to remember the warm-up segment and you can always go through that on your own stay on the toes stay down butt down good and relax okay now both legs straight turn your body reach across just go side to side the main thing is to keep your legs straight remember that if you cannot touch your toes that's okay if this is the maximum that's fine just keep your legs straight feel the stretch for those who can reach for your shoelaces and even better reach for the floor outside of your shoes and relax just hang your weight down still keeping your legs straight hold it there feel the stretch behind your legs Okay, now feet slightly wider apart. You're gonna sit on one side, bending one leg. The other leg, you can keep it straight, toes pointing up. Make sure the, uh, the foot, that, the leg that you're sitting on, the foot is flat on the ground, okay? That means not going on your toes this way. Sitting back as low as you can with the whole foot on the ground. If this is the maximum, that's fine. Hold it. For those who can, go all the way down, okay? And switch over, out of sight. Sitting on the other side. Straighten leg, toes pointing up, the foot that you're sitting on, heel on the ground. Hold it. Switch again, one more set. Sit back. For those who can, all the way. And last one. Switch over as low as you can with the heel on the ground. 
and relax. Okay, standing up, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna just run through one set of, uh, I call it mobility drills or exercises, but this part is still a warm up, yeah? So we are first one, you, some of you who follow me on Instagram you might have seen this move before. Standing on one foot, flat foot, just think about balancing, using your ankles, calves, knees, the whole lower body to balance first. Once you're stable, your fingertips gonna tap the ground. Just gentle tap, straighten all the way up. We're just gonna go for 10 on this side. If you lose your balance at first, that's normal, but it takes a lot of focus. We're going for 10 on one side. Go slow, we're not going for speed. Still in the warm up segments, remember that. Whole foot on the ground, focus on standing on that foot, putting all the weight on that leg. The rest of the body should be free to move, but the balance is all on one leg. Tap, stand all the way up. Make sure you are fully straightened up, extended at the top. That means this is not considered standing, you want to straighten everything, then go again. Tap the ground, stand all the way up. Go slow if you have to. Whole foot on the ground. I think we got two more. It's hard to multitask, talking and counting. One last one. Tap and stand all the way up. Good. And relax, shake it out. You should be feeling it on the legs already. Now we're gonna switch over the other side. Still standing on one foot on the other leg. Same thing. Fingertips tap and stand all the way up. You'll find that one side is stronger than the other or one side is less stable than the other. That's normal. All you need is a lot of focus for this one. Go slow, not going for speed. We're not rushing for anything here. Good, feel your whole body movement. You are the one in control of your movement. So place all the weight on that foot on the ground. Same thing, 10 on this side. You can go slow if you have to. For those who are already good at this, still go slow, you're gonna feel it more in your muscles. My left leg is the one that's not that good. So it's a bit more shaky on this side. Got last two. Remember to stand all the way up, then it's counted. Good, one last one. Tap, stand all the way up. And relax, really shake out your legs. Yeah, that's one of the uh, one of my favorite warm up drill that I like to do. So it warms up the whole body, especially the lower body. The second one, spider stretches. Starting in a plank position. We have done this the other time, the other session. Start in a plank, big step forward. And if your foot, you want to ideally get your foot in line with your hands. So where my hands are right now, ideally in line. But most of you. If you haven't been stretching enough, your hips gonna be really tight, you can just stop it here. That's fine, okay? Step back and go again. The whole idea is to get as big step as possible. Always go back to a proper plank position without sinking your hips. Only when you step forward, relax the hips, let it stretch, and then come back. And keep going for about a minute. Just slow movement. Still warming up, you want to open up your hips with this move. Okay, if you can, whichever leg that steps forward, same arm opens up, twist, and then return. If my left leg's forward, left hand up, open, reach for the ceiling, and return. And keep going like that. Big step, twist, and return. If you want to stick to the regular spider stretches like that, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna finish our last two. Big step, open, stretch, return. One last one. Stretch and return. And relax first. Sitting down on the ground. Rest on the ground first. Okay, so next one, S turns. So one of my favorite hip mobility. So we have a lot of um, exercises that requires good hip mobility, but we rarely work on the drills that improve the hip mobility. So this is one of that. So as sit position, sitting this way, while well, the first step is to be able to sit comfortably without using your hands to lean back. So sitting comfortably, if you need to, hands behind you, okay? And that's fine. 
So from here, again, ideally without your hands touching the ground, both legs swing over as smoothly as possible. And then you go again. So if you have to, you can use one hand, two hands to help you, up to you. So as we go along week by week, I'm going to be doing this every Friday morning for the warm up, uh, warm up segment. So as we go ahead week by week, you should be getting better at this. So we have, this is the third time we are doing it already. Swing across. For those who want to, you can lean forward each time to feel the stretch on the hips. Come up and go again. So your goal is to be able to do this one day without your hands touching, both feet off the ground. Bring it over as smoothly as you can. Go again. So I, ideally, this is the one that you want to do. If you need help, you can just scoot over this way at first. That's fine. Okay, two more times. Lean forward. Feel the stretch. One last one. Lean forward. Feel the stretch. Nice. And relax first. Okay, your body should be warm by now. We got one more. One more mobility drill to go. Or actually, just this is just a... Warm up to activate your core, your shoulders. You're gonna really need them later on. So starting on all four position, hands and knees on the ground. So hands and knees on the ground this way, you can see it better. With your, without moving your feet position actually. So from here, hands and knees on the ground, all you have to do, your knees will hover off the ground. So not too high, just slightly off the ground. So uh, my knees are not touching the ground, just slightly off the ground here, good. So holding this position for a minute and that that is the goal to just hold it for a minute or for those who can shoulder taps shift your weight to one arm tap on the shoulder place back down tap place back down just holding in this position so make sure when you're doing this your knees are not coming up all the way this is butt up i don't want to see a mountain butt so knees close to the ground as close to the ground as possible your hands and knees are close to each other. Just hold it there, or you can go for shoulder taps to really feel it in the core and the abs and the shoulders. Slow ones, no need to go for speed. The goal is to be able to hold this position while doing the shoulder taps for about a minute. Just side to side, take note where your knees are without lifting them up too high up. Side to side. Going for four more. Last three, tap, two, and one. Okay, and relax. Okay, sit it down, shake it out. You may feel it in the wrist as normal. You can pull your palm in slightly. This way, yep. And then the other side has to warm up your wrist as well. Okay, so this is for the warm up segment. Coming back, we're gonna go for a short break. Coming back, Sam will be here to guide us through a strength a series of strength exercises with your body weight and a back backpack. So if you have a backpack, bring it along, put all the heavy stuff, heavy books, water bottle, and then that'll be good. Okay, we're going to go for a short break. Stay here. Hi, good morning everyone. 
My name is Sam, and thank you, Cheryl, for guiding us through the warm up. So, I'm going to bring us through the second segment, the burn and the for the burn and the tone. So, what we need today is a backpack, and how heavy it is, it really depends on you. So, I like to load it up, and do remember that at any point of time, if you feel uncomfortable, it's too heavy, or it's compressing your breathing, just take it down and take a break. It's fine. Okay, the portion that I'm going to run through with you today, there are five movements all together. We're going to start immediately since you're all warmed up already. There are three rounds all together. The first one that we're going to work on is a progression from what you've just done, which is the plank shoulder tap. So you're going to go down on your fours. You rest your hands on the ground. Now try to bring your shoulders over your wrists. And then from there, extend your legs out. Okay, keep your legs nice and long. Now, a little quick tip over here is extend or straddle your feet out a little bit wider and bring your hands in a little bit closer. Okay, that way when we go into the shoulder tap, it makes it a little bit easier. Now, from here, making sure the shoulder is constantly over your wrist, bring your hand up to tap your shoulder and then bring it back down. We have 10 on each side. Okay, breathe along the way, nice and slow, keeping your arms straight all the time. While you're doing this, you can feel that your shoulder is working, your core is working, you can clench your butt as well, keep your legs nice and tight, your knees tighten, okay, keep everything nice and engaged. Chin in, shoulders rounded, maintain a nice, long, solid plank position. We'll try two more. Last one. And break. Okay. Now, next one we're going to go into is a pause squat, maybe with a jump, okay, if you're comfortable with it. So we're going to go down deep, pause, stop there. We call it hip crease below knees, so or pockets underneath your knees or below your knees, and then come back up to a stand or a jump, going down to a squat, pop up, squat, pop up, holding it there, feel the burn, feel the engagement, and then jump, hold, jump, Last four, jump, pause it there, find your balance, and then jump. Last three, last two, and last one. Okay, I like to finish off with the squat as well. Okay, then we're gonna go back to the plank position. Now, I hope that at this point, you can feel the weight on your shoulders already on the backpack. If not, it might be too light. Now you're going to bring your hand around, try to have your fingertips pointing back, okay? Again, shoulders over your wrist, you might want to space your hands out a little bit wider or if you find that it's quite restrictive, just turn your fingers out a little bit more. If not, turn it in. And then from here, straighten your legs out, you're going to lower your body down, forward, rest your body down, and then push yourself back up. Going down, that's two, remember we have ten per movement, that's four, breathing in when you're going down, exhale coming up, breathe in, and push, if you find that this is challenging, all you need to do is lower your knees down first, hips down, pockets down, stomach down, chest down. And then reverse the movement, chest up, and then knees off. Okay, same thing once again, the regression, rest your knees down, thighs and hips onto the ground, stomach on the ground, chest on the ground, and then push your body back up in position. Last two, and last one. <clears throat> okay, so that's the work on stretching out your wrist, getting your triceps, and, your, pet and uh, your chest and your shoulders worked out at the same time. Next one is one of my favorite, just to get that torso mobility on. Get your back and your hamstring and glutes working as well. So if you're familiar with burpees, this is half the burpee. So we're gonna flex, bend from our hips going down, push your, push your legs out, drop your hips down. Arms straight, shoulders back, chest up all the time. Legs in and stand, okay? Make sure your backpack is secure nice and tight. Going down, legs out, and then back in. Hips down, stretch your back, 
and then sand. If you find that you have knee issues, step out, drop your hips. Challenge yourself not to let your knees touch the ground, but drop your hips as low to the ground as possible. And then step back up. Okay, so remember that's a regression. Step out, hips down, bring as low as possible, keep your knees off the ground. Step back in, we've got last four. Pop out, hips down. Last three. And last two. And last one. Okay, just a reminder, if you have any questions about any of the movements that we're performing today, just leave a comment. We'll explain to you later on once we're back. Okay, now, last movement of the first round are lunges. So, take a big step forward, another step back. You're going to go into a high kneeling position. So, lower your knees down first to find your position. Knees always on top of your ankle, hip is always on top of your knee. Press your toes forward towards your knees, using your heels to push yourself back in position. So I'm gonna come back up like this, okay? And then going back down again. At all times, try to be able to bring your knees down to touch the ground. At least from here, you'll know how far and how long the movement is. So we have 10 on each side. Push up and down and up too and down. So over here we're working on our hamstrings on the first leg, on the front leg, and the quads and the hip flexors on the second leg, oh, I'm sorry, on the back leg. Last five, and going down, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Now the fun thing is that while we're at home, we can always look for additional things to increase the resistance for our training. So you can be holding on to your water bottle, or you can might even be bringing your backpack in front. Okay, so same thing, front knee on top of your ankle, back hip on top of your knee, walk your toes in, and then from here, push your heels down to bring yourself back up in position. And then lower your knee down, touch, and up. If you find that your knees is not comfortable or your hip is not comfortable in this movement, this just simply cut short the range of motion. Okay, so that you can still continue to feel your thighs, your hamstrings, your glutes or your butt working at the same time. All right, last four, last three, last two, and last one. Okay, so that's round one. We're gonna pick up the pace for round two and round three. If, it's, if the backpack is too light or if you wanna challenge yourself to get a backpack, quickly get it on right now, okay? And also a general reminder, at any point in time during your 10 reps, if you need to take a break, just rest. You don't need to catch up with the repetition. Once my 10 rep is done, just continue and follow through the next movement, okay? So we're gonna go and do plank shoulder tap. So, Again, go in the solid plank position. Torso's nice and tight, shoulders over your wrist, feet out wide, hands in close. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Simple is easy, all right? Now, next, next movement we have, pause squat with a little bit of a hop. So, pause squat, pause at the bottom, hop up. Pause at the bottom, two, pause, and jump. Pause, four, five, pause, and jump. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, if you're feeling the burn, shake it out, stretch a little bit. We're gonna go back down and do externally rotated push-ups again. Turn your hands around, shoulders over wrist. Get ready to lower yourself down. 
Straighten your legs out, same thing, straddle your feet. Makes it a lot more stable. Lower your body down and push yourself back up. Remember, there's an option for you to rest your knees down, chest down, and then push yourself back up. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, externally rotated. Push-ups done, we're gonna go back to down and up. Again, secure your backpack. Make sure it's nice and tight. Hands down, kick out, hips down. Arms straight, chest up, shoulders strong. Knees off if you wanna challenge yourself. Knees on the mat, pockets towards the ground. Feel the stretch across your abs and your back, and then pop yourself back up. That's one. That's two options. Remember, you can step out, drop, step in, and stand. Step out, drop, step in, and stand. Okay, last four. Hips down, chest up, arms strong. Step back up or jump back up. Last three. Last two. And last one. Okay, so that's really good in mobilizing your lower back. Do it nice and slow uh, if your lower back is constantly tight. Next movement, lunges. One step forward, one step back. Stabilize yourself. You should always be seeing yourself standing on like a train, real line, where your left foot and your right foot are not in line with one another. They're pointing the same direction, but they're not in line. Lower your knee down, touch, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten okay just an option you can bring a backpack out switch side we call it goblet lunges just simply holding on to a backpack in front of you going down position yourself again and come back up that's two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I hope you feel the burn. All right, we have one last set to go. Get ready for it. Let me get my backpack on. Okay, so last round. Plank, shoulder tap. If you find that earlier, it's easy, then bring your feet back closer together. Hands out wide, avoid tilting. Keep yourself nice and stable. Shoulder tap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your abs tight, nine, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, once again, if you find that your body is rocking, try as much as possible to stabilize it. If not, hands a little bit closer, feet a little bit wider. Allows you to stabilize the movement. All right, we're gonna go back to squat jumps or pause squat jump. Hold and jump, one. Hold and jump, two. Hold and jump, three. Hold it and jump, four. I'm gonna turn around. Hold, five, notice as I jump, I'm jumping upwards and not forward. Last four, last three, last two, pause and finish. Okay, and then we have push-ups back to, once again. Again, hands down, variation, 
put your hands out, it is okay. But it would be great to give your hands a nice stretch. And then from here, extend legs out, going down, chest to ground, and up. One, two, your rest point is at the bottom. Three, four, work the body. Five, feel the burn. Six, do your triceps or your forearm. Seven, eight, last two. Nine, and 10. Okay, last two exercises. We have down and up, and we have lunges. And then we're almost done, waiting for Cheryl's finale. Okay, so we're gonna go down and up now. Hands down, straight your feet out. Sorry, arms straight, come back in. All right, just try a different position. Legs out this time, hips down. Legs in, and stand. Legs out, hips down. In, and stand. Legs in, hips down. In, and stand. Don't forget about the regression. You can step out, hips down. Step in, and stand. Or, feet out, hips down. Step in and stand. We should last two. Legs out, drop. Legs in and stand. One last one. Legs out, hips down. In and stand. Okay. Last of last, one last exercise to go. Keep your backpack on. Hold on to it if you want to. Challenge yourself, or you can even bring the backpack over your head. Okay. So. One foot forward, one foot back. Remember, they should be in parallel, not in, not in line. Lower your knee down, find your position. We're going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Shake it off. Last 10. For Uncle Sam's segment, right foot forward, left foot back, going down, bring your knee to a touch, position your toes, push up. Remember, you want to use your front foot heel to push back to engage a little bit more of the hamstrings. Three, four, five, last five, six, seven, eight, last two, hang on there. Nine and ten. <sighs> We're done. I worked out a sweat. I hope you've done it too. Okay, so that's all for me for segment number two, burn and tone. I get I hope you get a good activation, good sweat, and good cardio out of this. Get ready for the finale by Cheryl. Hang on there. Don't go away.
right, welcome back to Rise and Shine in this session of Burn and Tone. So the last segment, you are almost done. Just one last short segment, uh, less than 10 minutes to be specific, about 8 minutes, 45 seconds of workout. Just one last bit to hang on to. Uh, this three exercises only and we're going for three rounds. So the whole point of this last bit that is so important that you have to finish it uh, is that you have to burn off the calories, burn off the fat on top of your muscles. So we just did the strength segment with Sam and that helps you to build a little bit of lean muscle mass and it doesn't help if you don't burn off the excess fat on top of the muscle layer. So you want to use cardio exercises or cardio workouts. I like to call it like a metabolic conditioning. Uh, this kind of workout that gets your heart rate up a little bit higher intensity to help you burn off the excess uh, fat on top of the muscles. Then you can be, you will be able to see the shape. So uh, this last bit, only 8 minutes, 45 seconds. Three rounds or three exercises. So the first one, I'm going to run through the exercises first so you know what we're doing. We're going by timing because once we start the timer, uh, we're just going to keep going. So you got to know what we're going to be doing first. So the first exercise, not starting the timer yet. First one will be two plank tucks, two plank jacks, starting in a plank position. From here, the important thing is to bring your butt up for the plank tucks. So plank tucks this way, butt up, feet in, close to your hands. That's one, two, and then two plank jacks. One, two. And you just have to repeat this for 30 seconds. This way, up and down, and then two plank jacks. So notice that my hips are not going all the way down each time. You don't want to do that for this part. So hold the plank, hold the plank. Okay, so pl two plank tucks, two plank jacks. That will be the first exercise for the round. The second exercise for the round, squat jacks. So squat jacks, a lot of you might have seen this in uh, hit videos, hit workouts. Regular squat position. So what we're going to do, sit back. Regular squat position without your knees going forward. You need to be on your heels for this part. Fingertips tap the ground, come back, feet together. Fingertips tap, feet together. Tap, feet together. Just this way, okay? Front view, tap, feet together. You can alternate sides with your hands. As long as your hands touch the ground and step back up. So make sure you sit back. That's the main thing, okay? So by now you should be able to uh, know what to expect for this workout. This short segment is going to be higher intensity than strength exercises, okay? Third exercise, one burpee, two jumping jacks. So if I show you front view, one burpee, you can do a plank option, come back, and two jumping jacks. That is the regress version. So if you want to, you can even step out into a plank, step back in, and then two jumping jacks, okay? That is level one. Level two, Plank, return, two jacks. Just go back to plank, come back up, two jumping jacks. Level three, the standard burpee. All the way down, all the way up, and two jumping jacks. Okay, so up to you which one you want to do. We are going by timing. All you have to do is just follow me, follow the timer on the screen, and your goal is to keep going for 30 seconds for each exercise. After each exercise, there will be 20 seconds to breathe. So you really want to make sure you uh, take slow deep breaths, pace yourself throughout this eight minutes, okay? It's not going to be easy. It will be difficult for you, it will be difficult for me too. So eight minutes, 45 seconds, um, every, every time you want to give up, just remember why you started or why you're doing this, okay? Last bit. So we're going to start the three rounds, get ready, in five seconds on the ground, three, two, one, and here we go. Two plank tucks and two plank jacks. Two plank tucks and two plank jacks. So never let your hips go down too low. And make sure your butt is up for the plank tucks. So you are not sitting on your knees. 10 more seconds. Pace your breathing. Not gonna be easy, but it will be worth it. Two plank tucks. Finish your last one, three, two, one, and time. Shake it out, a lot of shoulders and abs. Rest for 20 seconds. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So this part is really getting your heart rate up, getting the fat burn going, okay? Second exercise, on your feet, squat jacks. Starting in three, two, one, and here we go. Tap, straighten, tap, come back. So squat 
and then come back to feet together. Stay light on your feet. Breathe in going down, breathe out coming up. Any way to pace your own breathing. 10 more seconds. Hang in there, you're gonna feel it in your lower body. That's the one. Make sure you're fully extended at the top. And rest, 20 seconds. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, third one, burpee with two jumping jacks. Whichever level you want to go for, up to you. I'm gonna show you the middle one, level two. So plank, come back up, two jumping jacks. Get ready, three, two, one, and here we go. Plank, return, two jumping jacks. Plank, return, and two jacks. Remember your plank tucks, same thing, butt up, and then two jacks. Plank, up, two jumping jacks. The good news is, after this exercise, after each round, there will be 45 seconds to rest. Last one. And rest for 45 seconds. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So it's not gonna be easy, two more rounds. Just pace yourself with me. Because we're going by timing, you can take it slower, as long as you're moving for the 30 seconds. So hope you guys are still feeling good, not seeing stars. If you feel dizzy, uncomfortable, you can always sit down and rest first. Take it at your own pace. Still got about 15 seconds to breathe. First one, back to two plank tucks, two plank jacks. Still got 10 seconds. Take every second you can to breathe, to rest as much as you can. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, and go for it. Two plank tucks and two plank jacks. Keep your arms straight. Hold your own body weight up. The important thing is to pace your breathing. Your muscles need the oxygen to work to keep going. So don't hold your breath. Five more seconds, finish it. And rest. 20 seconds, shake out your shoulders. It's a lot on the shoulders if you are really holding your weight. Remember, you can slow it down, but as long as you keep going. Next one, squat jacks, up on your feet. Five seconds, get ready. Three, two, one, and here we go. Tap, straighten, tap, straighten. If I show you the side view, butt goes back, straighten all the way, butt goes back, straighten all the way. Tap and straighten. Stay light, pace of breathing, 10 more seconds. Sit back, chest out, finish your last one, last one, and time, 20 seconds, breathe. Next one, back to burpees. So coming to the end of second round. Deep breath in, 10 more seconds. Walk around, shake it out. Remember, it's gonna be worth it. Not easy for this part, but it will be worth it. Ready? And go for it. Burpee. Plank. Return. Two jumping jacks. Plank. Come back. Two jacks. And keep going. Find your own rhythm. You can always slow it down. If you really have to slow down to catch your breath, you can keep going for your jumping jacks for the remaining time. Three, two, one, and time. 45 seconds, breathe. Last round, good news is one last round, and we're done, promise. After this, it's just cool down, stretching. You get about 30 seconds of rest here. Shake it up, move along. Three exercises, one last time for the three exercises. Starting with the plank tucks, plank jacks. Full body calorie burn. Long weekend ahead, remember that. You want to earn it. 10 seconds, get ready. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, five seconds. Plank position, get ready. Three, two, one, and here we go. Two times, and two jacks. 
Good. Two times, butt up, and two jacks. Yeah, it will be difficult to keep your butt up, but just remember, by pulling your butt up to the ceiling each time, you're using your lower abs. You want to work on the abs. Might as well. Okay, last one, last one, finish it. And time. 20 seconds, rest, shake it out. Two more exercises, almost done. Okay, lower body now. Relax, deep breath. Start with the feet together. In about five seconds. Just go with the flow, 30 seconds. Get ready, and here we go. 30 seconds, squat jacks. Stay light on your feet. Just fingers touch the ground and stand back up. As light as you can, just bring back up. Work that lower body. Always make sure your knees are pointing out to the sides. Five seconds. Finish your last two, last one, and time. Shake it out. Okay, one last exercise and we're done. Burpee. Everyone's favorite burpees. Okay, plank, come back, and two jumping jacks. Remember, you can go for the regress version, or if you want to step it up, full body down. Okay, here we go, last 30 seconds. Plank, two jumping jacks, and go again. Stay light, plank, butt up, chest up, breathe. All right, last 10 seconds, finish it. Squeeze in your last few repetitions. Nothing else after this, one last one. And time, well done guys. So now it's just cool down. You can shake it out, walk around a little bit. 10 seconds for you to breathe. And then if you have a mat, it's good. If not, you can just lay down on the flat ground. Relax, seat it down. Lay down on your back, palms out, just relax, catch your breath. Open up your chest, slowly breathe out. Okay, now tuck your knees in towards your chest, round your back up, ball yourself up, rock a little bit side to side, don't fall over, side to side, relax your back muscles. And relax, okay. Now one leg straight out on the floor, the other one, pull it up. If you have a towel with you, you can use the towel, wrap it around the shoe, and then hold the towel this way. If not, you can just hold it with your hands, hold your calves. If this is the maximum you can go, just hold on to the back of your knees, but you have to keep your top leg straight. Hold it, stretch your hamstrings. For those who can, pull it in some more, hold it. Continue to take deep breaths. Every time you breathe out, relax a little bit more and pull it in a tiny bit more. You want to hold each stretch for at least 15 seconds to get a good stretch. You work the muscles hard, you want to stretch it out. And slowly relax, switch, other side, 90 degrees. This will be, this 90 degrees is the minimum. You have to be able to get at least 90 degrees. And then if you can, pull it in some more. If your legs are like just here, you need to stretch a lot more. You need a rope to help you with that, to hook around your foot. Every time you breathe out, relax your whole body, but keep that top leg straight. Pull in a tiny bit more. You should be feeling the stretch, not just comfortably holding there. You want to feel the stretch on the back of your legs. And relax. Okay, one foot up, ankle on that knee, and you want to use your hand to grab the outside, the leg that's furthest away from you. Okay, hold the knee in, or rather get the shoe close to your shoulder. The shoe close to the shoulder which you can see I'm not very close to the shoulder. I need to work on this more. 
So this stretches the hips here, close to the butt or in the butt. That is the big muscle group that affects your knee and your lower back. Some of you who have the knee issues or lower back issues, stretching this will definitely help a little. Pull it in, hold it, keep the tension, feel the stretch. Continue your deep breaths. It's only eight minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, finish your workout just now and I'm sweating. If you really put in the work, you don't need very long time to work out. And relax, switch out of sight. Ankle on that knee and hands on the furthest leg. Get that shoe close to your shoulder uh, as much as you can. Try to even a little bit more, one more centimeter, hold it, feel the stretch and hold it. Relax the hips, pull it in. And relax. Okay, T position with your arms, one leg up, cross over on one side. You can use that hand to hold onto your knee to keep it down. And look over to the opposite side. Hold it. Just relax the whole body here. For those who can, you can make a pretzel with yourself. The, the leg that's straightened, bend that knee. Hold on to your shoelace. There. Just hold it there, relax. Okay, and relax, switch out of sight, T position again. One leg up, cross over. Hold it. For those who want to, stretch a little bit more. That straightened leg, bend that knee, hold on to the shoelace. Hold it, relax the whole body. Just really, literally making a pretzel with your own body. Good. And slowly relax. Okay, you're gonna sit back up. Straddle position. Doesn't have to be too wide. Just here will do. Your first goal is to sit, sit upright. If you cannot bend your knees first, hold on to your toes. And then try your best to sit upright as you straighten out your legs. So hold it there. That is your goal to be able to at least touch your toes. For those who can go all the way down, go for it. So stay there, breathe, feel stretch. Good, make sure both legs are straight as much as you can, toes pointing upwards. Nice, and relax, sit up, butterfly. See, this is one that I need to work on. Same as the stretch where you lay down and pull the shoe to the shoulder. On the hips, on the butt, you want your knees to be close to the ground. Butterfly stretch. Okay, hold on to your shoes. Think about chest towards your shoes. Towards, uh, it's gonna be hard to touch, but just go towards that direction. Hold it. Nice, and relax. Sit up in a comfortable position, stretch your shoulders. Worked a lot on your shoulders today. If you want to really relax and stretch out the muscles. And switch out of sight. Across. Relax the shoulders. Try not to tense up your neck. Keep the shoulders down. And one arm over the other. Hold that elbow. Pull it behind your head and keep your head up. So you push the arm backwards. For those who can, lean to the opposite side a little bit. Feel the stretch along the triceps all the way down on the side of your body. And switch out of sight and hold it down, head up, lean to the side. And relax, Stay seated upright, head down, gently pull the head down, relax the shoulders. You should feel the stretch on the back of your neck. Just relax, hold it. And now looking in front of you, ear to shoulder on one side. Same thing, you don't want to tense up your shoulders this way, you want to relax, drop your shoulders. Hold to the side, tilt forward a little. And hold it there. Feeling good. And switch, out of sight. Hold it on one side, and then tilt forward a little bit. Feel the stretch along the side of your neck. And relax. All right, that's it for today's session. Well done, you guys. It wasn't an easy workout today. 
So enjoy your long weekend. You can tune in to Get Active TV and on Instagram and on Facebook for more programs like talk shows, workout sessions, stretching sessions, cooking shows that you can try to get some recipes for yourself at home. And if you're lucky, you can join in some of those uh, giveaway contests on their page. So you can tune in to Get Active TV on Facebook, Instagram, and myself, Cheryl Fit underscore SG, as well as Sam, who led you through the strength session today at that Uncle Sam on uh, Instagram. Okay, so have a good long weekend ahead and go work today.